Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. With Bubbles. Can't forget Bubbles. I'll never let you. No doubt. <laughs> Alright, so what we've decided to do is do a whole heap of different pours, but using the same usual everyday bloom recipe that we use for pretty much everything really, to be honest. Yep, just to show you is what you can get away with. Exactly. So, what I'm going to do first is, we've just got some random colours here. All my stuff here is actually mixed to bloom consistency, so it's quite thick. Okay, so, so this colour... Bubbles loves thick. For instance, you can see just how thick our colours usually are. And sometimes too, like... Um there's no right or wrong, I don't think, with a lot of things. Sometimes it's um, personal preference. Don't you think? Yeah. Like, you know, it depends on what effects you're going for and what you like as your end result sometimes too. Exactly. This is the way we do it. You can do it any way you choose. Um, yeah, just our personal preference. So, if you want to know what the bloom recipe is, I'll throw the number of the video up on the screen now. That way you can go back, watch, see how that's actually mixed up, what's actually in it, and you can go from there. Absolutely. So, we've got a six inch tile. What I'm gonna do is just do a bloom first. So, we're gonna lay some color down. Now this is British Paints, Low Sheen, Interior Walls. We get that here in Oz. Uh, for anyone overseas, like in America, use your Glidden Premium or something to that effect. As long as it's not sealing paint, it works well. Sealing paint's got too much chalk in it and it cracks when it dries. And there's a lot of amazing American artists and UK artists too, so you can always hit up their channels and see what they're actually using. Exactly. Alright, so I'm just going to spread that out. Just gives it a bit of slipping room. Alright, we'll add some colour. I do love that colour. Crazy purple. Oh, it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Right, so we'll go with that. As you can see, they're all really thick. Not as thick as some I've used. <laughs> no doubt. Do you remember that crazy bloom I did that time when I found the paint and it had like that centimetre thick skin on the top of it, so I ripped it off and used what was underneath? <laughs> I do remember that. And it worked! It did work. Go figure. Right, so Selective Loader. This is Amsterdam Lamp Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. So there's three parts Floetrol, one part Amsterdam Lamp Black. I do love the Lamp blanky, Black, you know, and the Oxide, that's nice. All right, so I'm just gonna put a blob of that on. Give it a blow out with a little mini blower. helped if you had it in the middle of the tile. Nice job, Wombat. You did a bubbles. I did. I'm all discombobulated. I'm exceptionally proud of you right now. No doubt. Give a little blow to speed things up. Look at those cells. Alright, we'll put some little 
fancy patterns around here just for the hell of it We've got a goober in there nice job wombat all right slide that across a bit because it's all moved yeah i think it's time we take our skin off our spinner again yeah it's starting to get that warped effect <laughs> i think so all right so what we'll do is throw that down we'll spin it out you don't have to spin it out super fast like a crazy woman like bubbles does what what are you saying Works for me. I've noticed. Alright, so we'll just blow that out. Da, 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 da. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, come on, I don't go that much faster. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and there we go. Fancy little bloom. So, what do you want to use for... Our next one. I think I'm going to use the same colour as you just did. Yep. I'm going to do a ring pour swipe. Did you want to use the same tile or do it on something else? Uh, I think we'll press pause and I'll have a think. Okay. What we'll do is we'll press pause and we'll come back for the next bit. All right. Rightio. Yeah. So you've got yourself a little shot glass. Yep. Got our thick one. Look how <laughs> thick that is. She will be right, mate. She will be right, mate? Yes. Very Australian, wasn't it? No doubt. Oh. So they're all the same colours that I just used in that bloom. Yep. Rockin' the perps. The rockin' the perps, you reckon? Yep. Absolutely. Did you use the magenta one? Yep. I used all of them except for the gold. Yeah, I had the gold in mind for something and... I don't think I'm going to go there now. I'm going to save that. For loaded palette knives, I think. Right. I think a bit of gold with um, purple in loaded palettes would look pretty. A blob. A blob. Yeah, That's I think the... I think it'd look pretty spiffy. Okay. Yeah, I just want a dollop of that with that. I haven't used that one yet, have I? Nope. So there's a couple of tube paints in amongst those. That yep. one's a tube paint. Yep. A gorgeous colour too. That was mixed with the poorer medium, which is in that video that I popped up on the screen earlier. Uh, 252 from memory. But that will be in the playlist anyway when we do the playlist for this little series we're doing. Yeah. And it's going to show you heaps of different things you can do with the same recipe. And if you're lazy like bubbles and don't want to mix a whole heap of different paints. That's right. Oh, uh, there might be enough cause it's only a small one, isn't it? It is only small. It depends on what you're doing to it. I might do some swipes on the outside too. Okay. Well, you can do that. All right. So what we might do now? Move that back to the middle. Recenter ourselves. Center. About there. Hey, it's close. Yeah, it is. Phew! Bubbles rocking the center of the spinner. But can I put it down and spin it from the middle? That <laughs> is always the question. 
don't want that bomb pit right there, there we go. This hypnotizes me. Does it? Yeah. I'll be very honest, I found these boring at first. Until I actually started to watch the layer of the rings coming out. And then it really started to fascinate me. Because you know what I'm like, I get bored. I'm one of them people that gets bored very easily. Mm -hmm. I've always got to change it up and do something different. Before I go, yeah, no, I'm done with that. Trippy. Right. I'm walking. You are walking. You know. I got it. Two real big bubbles there. Same? Yeah. Pesky bubbles. Hmm. Yeah. That's close, right? That is pretty close. Close. <laughs> close. I knew what you meant. They're running up pretty. Anything you'll be careful with this type of colour? Any of the neons really take over. Yeah, and they can have that bleeding effect into the others. See, like there? Yep. Alright. I'm going to leave it there for a minute. Can you get me some fresh paper towel because I'm just wiping the paint back on myself. Alright. I think I might put this one. So I might leave that out now. I'm just going to lay some colour around the outside. Okie dokie. Just where we've got all that negative space. So that's another thing too, if you're starting out with smaller ring pores. And you really had that vision that you would have liked all your colour to go to the edge. Put some colour on the edge. Why not? Swipe it. Gives a really cool effect, doesn't it? It definitely gives some cool effects. I'm either going to regret this much of this colour, or I'm going to love it. It's going to be one or the other. Oh, I see. You know it. Oh, yeah. It's one of them colours that um, I use it not because of what it looks like, but how it actually mixes with others. So if it doesn't play nice with these, I'm going to be going boohoo. Oh dear. And if all else fails, we'll show you the next technique of a radial. <laughs> <laughs> Put that over the top, fixes everything. What do you reckon, Wombat? 99% um, of the time it does. 
Oh yeah, I have had them moments where I've um, tried and tried to save something that's gone quite tragic. And then when your radio doesn't work, you're just like, Kayleen, just scrape it. Yes. Just, just don't waste just any call more it paint. <laughs> Stop getting frustrated and just walk away from that one. You're allowed to. Oh, dribble. Oh no. But we don't care. You know why we don't care? Because you're going to swipe around it. Yeah, we are. wonder if a Kraken wipe would work. Give it a go. I'm just, I'm going to do that. This could be a first really cool or we'll have to re-record this section. So what you put on that? Black and white cell activator? Yeah, sorry. I just got excited because I had a thoughty. All right. I haven't tried the Kraken this way yet. Ah! Honey! <laughs> Freaking works! <laughs> Does that rock or what? Are you checking? Check it out. Uh, there you go. Hell yes. Don't they give the trippiest looking cells? I love it. My Kraken. Oh, that's cool, right? Yeah. So really all you're doing is adding twice as much black and twice as much white cell activator as you usually would. And you know why, guys? Because that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that way it gives you weird rings around your cells. I love it. And it does look like octopus tentacles. It definitely looks like octopus tentacles. I've seen many of them close up in the water. You have. Tentacles, that is. Okay. I'm stoked. <laughs> and while you've been doing all the other swipes, look how much that's grown on the first part of it, right here. I know, don't you love just letting it do its thing? That's the thing too, if anyone's going to have a go at the Kraken, you need patience, you need to let them start to activate and really do their thing, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Now there's no silicon used in any of this. It's no. just Australian Flow Troll and Amsterdam Paint. You've never been a lover of silicon in your life. I work, hate but... silicon with a passion. Why is that? It's crap. It's not used in paint. People do use it, but it's... Ugh. So that's your technical explanation? Yeah, Ick. well... One, it's not good for you. Two, the fumes you breathe in when you torch it are quite toxic. Three, it's a pain in the butt to resin over the top of it or clear varnish because it's an oil and it doesn't react really well with the coatings that you put on whether it be silicon varnish clear spray paint and it just does your head in it, it drives you nuts you end up with your clear coat absolutely destroyed because of the oils that are in it Now all I'm doing now is just so I can incorporate the outside to be with the inside. There we go. Wow. Dude, check it out. You see all them little... They really do look cool, don't they? So you've done two techniques in one. Yeah, both with bloom paint. Both with bloom recipe. Yep. Same consistency as your blooms. Yeah, we knew it wasn't going to happen again. Let's go about there. No. Yeah. 
close enough. Not even. Yeah, it looks good. Don't be so picky. <laughs> really? Because if it starts to go bad. Center itself up. Don't pick on the bubbles. <laughs> you got nothing to say there. You <laughs> just went. You went completely slow. No, just uh, um, low profile. Pleading the fifth there, going on silent, son. Absolutely. Let's recenter that now. I don't think I don't like so. With that colour there, it seemed to have separated. Did it here too. It's the thing, some colours can be a little pesky, can't they? They can, absolutely, and that's one of them. Hmm. For the life of me, I can't remember what the actual colour is. That's alright. Blue. I'm pretty sure it's not blue. Ish. Alright. I'm pretty happy with that though. That turned out enough. Some chicken ear. Really? Yep. Them cells are crazy. Yeah. But the rings, you can see the defined lines. Yeah. With all the rings, because it's thick paint. They don't bleed into each other. No, they really give it a bit of defi really good definition, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I wish I hadn't used that colour now, but I do love it. I told you it was either going to be a happy moment or a... Mmm. Yeah. But the joy of using all that amazing colour, if I'm not happy with it when it dries, I've got a cool embellishment background. Exactly. Because those colours are just beautiful. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All I right. like these big cells here. We'll do a flyover of that so you can get a nice close and look at it. Them rings look crazy cool. But yeah, that's cool though, because it's just still your bloom consistency. It is. You haven't had to mess around by thinning out colours or any of that sort of stuff. It's just whatever you used for a bloom, you've been able to do with a swipe and a ring pull. And you know, you're having a paint day. You don't want to stop, have to make up different paints because Bubbles is too lazy. That's right. So, it Same works. consistency, straight out of the tubs. Thanks for coming. It works. So let's pause. Let's see what you're going to do with your bloom paint. Okie dokie. All right, back with you, mister. All right. So, I've filled my little cup full of fun. I've added a couple of colours because, you know, that's what I do. Yeah, you don't seem to think bubbles uses enough, do you? No, but they're still all bloom, bloom consistency, consistency colours. Oh, I do love a bit of yellow with purple, though. really gorgeous it is pretty same with that pink I love pink all right so I'm just wiggling a crazy little pattern into this oh that's cool That pink really stands out, doesn't it? It pops. Yeah. Right. Dismount. Woohoo! Yours are always so much better than mine. Alright. I'm not always quick enough. Now what I'm going to do is just... 
Oh, you're going to roll yours around. Roll it around. I love how you get them little fingerlings. They're really cool. To open it up and centralize it a little bit better. Like that. Make sure you bring your paint back to the center again. Is that so it doesn't go elongated like mine did? It, it will help, yeah. <laughs> right. So watch what Wombat does. <laughs> it's still not perfectly in the middle, but it'll do for what we're doing. Make sure it's dead center. Yeah, we'll that's start with that. It's out a little bit, but... I'm just using that to spread it out. I reckon I've got a little right. munchkin in there that moves mine every time I try and put it in the middle. You know. Pop some of these bubbles. Yeah, that's a high spot about there. Those colours are beautiful together. Then we just spin her out. Let it do its thing. And it should make it to the edge. Fingers crossed. Oh, you're going for the edge? Yeah, I'm going to cover the whole thing. Okay. That pink does a lot like the purple, doesn't it? Yes. Fluoro? It is. Yeah. Any of the neons really take over crazy. Still, they give some super cool effects. Oh, look at that. It's like coral. Yeah. How trippy is that? No, I love that. So, once again, that was done. Here's now bloom consistencies. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I quite like that. I love all them little fingerlings you get. Yeah, they're fun, aren't they? I've got to work on those. That's just from... The way you wiggle when you um, pouring your cup out. Pour the cup out. Yeah. Mm. They're really effective, but no, that looks like beautiful coral to me. Yeah. I'm looking through a reef. So we'll do a flyover of that. Yeah. So there's already three different things we've done using the same consistency paint. Nothing's changed. All we've done is do different techniques with it. Absolutely. Which I is love a how load the colours hold, though. They do. They hold really, really well. They give a bit more definition, I think, the thicker colours on these. Yeah. Which I like that. Very cool. Something different. Week one. Week one. Stay tuned for week two. All right, guys. Hopefully you liked that one. If you did, hit like, share and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Thanks, Tinker Girl. That way you get to see all our videos as we release them. And why would you want to miss us? Exactly. <laughs> if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. Or if you're in Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art on Facebook, just put a post in there and we'll get back to you ASAP. Always. All right, guys. Once again, thanks heaps for joining us today. We really appreciate all your love and support. Absolutely, we do. Thank you very much for watching. So, till next week, have fun, take care. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Bye for now. Have a fantastic day, everyone.